you can boil up water in an easy way. Once the azeotropic distillation is completed, the third step is the addition of mannose triplet. Mannose triplet is the glucose molecule here. It is a glucose analog. We will we'll try adding mannose triplet to the reaction vessel using uh, certain, walls, certain walls here. The entire thing is controlled by the software there. I will show you the software afterwards. Uh, once the mannose triplet is uh, added to the reaction vessel, the, flo the fluorinated intermediate is ready. Once the fluorinated intermediate is ready, the next step is hydrolysis, acid catalyzed hydrolysis. Uh, the acid catalyzed hydrolysis will remove the uh, acetyl protecting groups uh, which will be converted to acetic acid. Uh, uh, we'll add hydrochloric acid to the reaction vessel for facilitating uh, the conversion of acetyl groups to the acetic acid. Uh, this, uh, this is a step of 8 minutes. Once hydrolysis is completed, the ultimate step is purification step. The purification is accomplished by passing the hydrolysis reaction mixture uh, through a purification column consisting of uh, several purification columns. You can see the purification column here. This is the purification column which is the, the top resin is cation exchange resin. It will uh, retain the cryptofix complex. The bottom one is ion retardation resin. It will neutralize the acids. The, this is neutral alumina. It will, uh, it will trap the unreacted fluorine 18. And this is the CA18 uh, cartridge. It will, uh, it will take care of the non-polar species like tetraestyl, F18, FDG. So in multiple steps, the purification will be completed. Once the purification is completed, it is collected in the final vial there. I will show you the final vial there, final product vial. Uh, this is the sterile pyrogen free vial. We will collect the entire product, uh, entire product in this. We will take enough care uh, to see that this is at most sterile and pyrogen free because we are injecting the patients and we should take care of that. Uh, once this is, this is called the line which you are seeing is called delivery line. Once the FDG is produced there, it reaches the uh, this sterile vial uh, through this uh, delivery line. The, at the end of the delivery line, you can see a filter here. You can see a filter here. This is called uh, a GS filter. It's a 0.22 micrometers filter. So if in case in, there is no possibility, in case if any particles left over uh, and which are escaped from the purification step, will be struck here. We will start here and we will get a hundred per, uh, about uh, uh, very very good purity of a fluorodeoxy glucose and once the fluorodeoxy glucose is collected here, yes, we'll, uh, once the fluorodeoxy is collected uh, finally, we will remove these filters. Of, co uh, of course, we handle all these things, what I am showing you, we handle all these things using these manipulators uh, which are self uh, standing outside, outside the shield. Uh, once uh, this, this collection is over, we'll remove the filter. We'll remove the filter, and we'll drop this wire in the dosi calibrator, and we'll measure the activity. Uh, and finally, we'll measure, we'll, and we'll make a note of that, and we'll measure the F yield efficiency. Our yield efficiency is nearly 70 percent, as always. Uh, once we measure the activity, and we'll come to know how much uh, fluorodeoxy glucose we got. Keeping it, uh, keeping it in that mind, we'll. Uh, we will uh, allot the dose to the patients. Uh, this is called, what you are seeing here is the white color one is called a, a sterile, uh, it's, 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 this is also sterile and it is a vial holder. We will place the vial in, inside this and we will close this like this and we will keep under the hammer here. This is a self automated dispensing system. Uh, we can dispense, uh, we can, this is called syringe filling station otherwise. Uh, we will fill the syringes by using this, by using the manipulators, by just standing outside the shield. Okay. Uh, I will show you how we dispense doses to the patients now. Just will now I'll close the door. Show you how we load the syringes. This is the 5 ml syringe. This is the 5 ml syringe. This is the syringe carrier. How to change the syringe carriers accordingly? 3 ml and 5 ml have different sets of uh, syringe carriers. Just pick the syringe like this. Insert in this. Insert using the manipulators will control the things like this. Just pull out the need uh, syringe cap and Just fix the syringe uh, back like this and just uh, 
just whatever the volume you require, just uh, give a command on this, on this control panel. If you want 1 ml, just give 1 ml command so that it will take 1 ml. You can see how it is, uh, the syringe is getting filled. Yes, now the syringe is filled. Let's take out of the syringe. Yeah, you can see this activity is there in this. Now again, cab it. Yeah, just keeping the next syringe carrier inside the dog house. Yes, now the syringe carrier is in the dog house. Let's see, we are dropping the syringe into the syringe holder like this. Yes, now the syringe is in the syringe holder. And now we'll dispense the dose to the patient. Okay, start up. Uh, this is the way how we dispense doses to the patients by using a long tungsten rod. Uh, this is our injection room, and uh, the, our technologist will inject the patient uh, here itself. Just Mr. Atul. system by which we control the, the synthesis module everything is operated by the system if you want to add the reagents or if you want to do whatever we want we can do from here we can write our own protocols we can add what quantity of uh, volumes or what, whatever it may be we can do from this monitor and I will show you how we synthesize the uh, fluorodioxide because how the software helps us basically and now I will show you uh, we have certain protocol we have a certain we have certain protocols here if you want the synthesis just glow here we have a, a protocol called uh, synthesis, CTA FDG synthesis single beam review. Just open that. We select the column in the QMA, whatever QMA already explained you about QMA. We select the QMA because there are four QMAs, so we have to select one, of, one out of four. Today we have QMA, so just click on the column four. Okay. Yeah, a window opens like this. So it gives us time for uh, the FI team to get collected in the QMA. Here you can see the reading which gives us the uh, QMA reading means the amount of FI team which is trapped in the QMA will be displayed here. You can see here and this is the uh, reaction vessel activity. Whatever the activity is there in the reaction vessel it will be displayed here. And these are uh, temperature readings. This is the top set point and this is the bottom set point. This is the IR feedback. Whatever the temperature they are maintaining in, this explo in the explorer they will be displayed here. You can see the reading is going up. You can see here the reading is going up because the, the activity is getting uh, getting collected in the QMA. You can see. You can see there the reading is going up. Yeah, almost one QRE is collected till now. 1 1.3, 1.4, 1.5, 1.6, 1.7, 1.8, 1.9. Chilla 1.83 curies of F18 is trapped in the QMA. Uh, you can see we got uh, 1.85 curies of F18. Uh, this is trapped in the QMA now. Today we ran RD target. That's why we got. Uh, so still the activity is going up. Today we ran RD target. That's why we got only two curies of F18. Uh, usually uh, HP gives us more activity, like uh, nearly four curies of F18. Today we ran RD. That's the reason we got only nearly two curies of two curies of F18. Now the activity is in the QMA, this is in the first phase, this is the first step, trap and release of fluorine 18. This is the first step of the synthesis. Okay, once the F18 is uh, trapped completely in the QMA, just click on this. Okay, so now the F18 which got trapped in the QMA will be delivered to the reaction vessel by the passage of the solution called cryptofix. You can see now how this uh, activity leaves the QMA and enters the reaction vessel. You can see the activity which is coming into the reaction vessel here, it will be displayed here. Now the activity is going to leave the QMA and enter the reaction vessel. You can see 
you are seeing now 1.96 in the KMA. Now you can see, now it will start 